3D printing's applications stretch across myriad industries, but they do have their limitations. Here to discuss those limitations and what's possible is MRS Communications lecturer, Kelvin Fu. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. What are the major limitations of conventional 3D printing? Conventional composites actually are made by layer by layer structures. So same thing for the 3D printing. So say if you want to create some structural components to survive at a uh, high uh, crash, we have to consider, you know, like a uniform mechanics around the parts. That's the major limitation for the current 3D printing as well as the composite. Tell me about the novel composite processing techniques that are now emerging and what that will mean. So in my opinion, our technology is a breakthrough and also is a game changer. I think it's our first time to create a real 3D composite structures. As you can see, so this is a flying joint framework made by the conventional composites. So if you see right here, so almost there's no thickness. But if we want to, you know, carry the load, so there's no like Z direction to take the load. So, but in our design, so this is our, you know, new technology made composite parts. So all the fibers, they can take the load and we can use optimization and a smart manufacturing process to make this possible. This can replace metal parts by 95%. This shape is actually, you know, we borrow from a metal bracket structure, but we use our technology and use carbon fiber to replace those metal. And also, you know what, for making this one only 30 minutes with a cost, you know, less than $10. Wait, 30 minutes and a cost of less than $10? Yes, that's right. So what do you see being possible with this in the real world? My startup company is now focusing on the drone application especially we focus on the agriculture drone. You know, it's pretty large, and also it has to carry, you know, high payload. But the, you know, traditional agriculture drone that can be crashed easily. But by using our technology, the drone frame can be very strong and durable, lightweight. So it can save a lot for the, you know, our farmers. So how do you see it making existing applications more effective? You know, my lab and also my startup company exploring the application like the, the vehicle application, like the bee peelers. And also in my lab, we had demonstrated a bicycle frame. And also, you know, we are working on some, you know, moon construction because we want to build this carbon fiber shield to survive at the moon surface or the Mars surface. This does feel like a game changer for sure. Definitely. I think that this is, uh, in my opinion, I'm very proud of this work. My whole team, my companies are putting a lot of uh, efforts in commercializing this technology. And also I want to use MRS, this platform, give a voice, you know, to uh, our technologies. And also I'm hoping to look for, you know, uh, more like investment and also researchers to uh, mature this technology into the real market. Kelvin Fu, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, thank you. You want more Matt Sai? Well, don't go anywhere. Click right here to watch all of our content from the 2025 MRS Spring Meeting. Have fun.